Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do an art pop manicure. Um, I've already done the rest of my nails just with a white base and some red polka dots. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to use a base coat and put that on your nails. and then you're just going to let that dry so then once your base coat is dry you're then going to get your white bait base coat colour and do one coat and let that dry so then once you first base coat colour is dry, you're going to then add second coat just like that and the white base coat that I'm using is OPI's Alpine Snow so then you just need to wait for that to dry before you start putting some polka dots so then once your base coat colour has dried I'm then going to get a dotting tool uh, I'm going to be using this end right here and putting some of the red polish onto some paper or some foil I'm just going to dip the dotting tool into the paint and then just place the dots first of all in a row of, th of three or four, which however long your nails are, and then I'm just going to put a dot in between each one, like that. So, and the red polish that I'm using is OPI's Big Apple Red. So, then you just need to wait for those dots to dry as well. So, then once your dots are dry, you're then going to get a paintbrush like this. This is by Citadel. It's a fine detailed paintbrush. It's just got a little yellow tip. Um, I actually got these from Games Workshop. So and it's my sort of go-to art nail polish brush. So and then I'm going to get some black polish and put that onto my paper or tin foil. Um, put some onto my brush. And then this is when we're going to be doing the eye on the accent nail. So first of all, going to be doing the eyebrow. just like that so then once you've done the eyebrow we're then going to start doing the actual eye so I'm going to go from about there and it's okay if you sort of cover some of the dots with this because we're going to go back in with the white afterwards So as well it's okay if it's not particularly perfect though that black line and then I'm gonna do the under bit about there.
So that's sort of your basic outline for them. So you need to wait for that to dry as well because we're going to go back in with the white to sort of block out all of those red spots. So then once that's all dry, we're then going to get our white polish on our paintbrush and just fill in all of this bit in the middle of the eye. Now obviously you can use acrylic paints for this as well if you wanted to. Um, I just at the moment prefer to use polish. Okay, so now you can see that I've sort of filled in all of the eye with the white, so now I'm just going to wait for all of that to dry as well. So then once all that white in the middle of the eye is done, we're going to then go back with our black polish and our little paintbrush, and we're going to just do the outline of the eyeball. Just like that. So as you can see it's all kind of a bit messy and so and so but that's okay because we're now once that's dry going to put whatever colour you want for the eye. Um, I'm just going to use a pale blue so when we put that in the middle of the eye it's going to even out all of that back outline so don't worry about it at this stage. So then now we're going to fill in the middle of that eye so this time I'm going to use the other end of my dotting tool which is sort of a bit larger so and I'm going to get my blue polish which is actually Vinylux as you wish and we're just going to put a big old dot right in the middle and obviously to cover all of the bits needed you can just get some more polish onto your dotting tool because the more polish you use on the dotting tool the, the bigger the dot will be Just like that. So and if you've got bits that aren't being covered by the dotting tool, you can see I've got a little bit just at the top. Just go in with your small paintbrush again and the blue polish. And you can just fill that in like that. So then now we've just got to wait for the blue polish to dry so we can finish off doing our eyes. So then once the middle of your eye is finished we're then going to go for the dotting tool again but the smaller end the same that you did the red dots with. Hopefully my camera focuses you can see. That's it. So we're going to dip back into our black. and put it right near the top just like that 
So and then we need to let that dry before we can continue. And the black polish that I've been using is OPI's Lady in Black. Um, but I think in America it's called Black Oink Oinks or something like that. Um, so obviously in the UK it's a little bit different. But um, it's just OPI's Pure Black Polish. So in my original Instagram picture of this manicure, there was actually a little white spot up in the corner of the eye. Um, that was actually just a light reflection, but I know that people have recreated the money and put the black dot in, so I'll just do that as well. And it's just going to go right up in the corner, up there, like that just to show a little bit of a highlight of the eye. So you just need to wait for all of that to dry and obviously if you're doing all of your nails at the same time as well, um, you know, wait for everything to dry just before we put any top coat on. So then once our manicure is all dry, we're then going to top coat. I'm using Seche Vite like I always do on all of my manicures. Um, I just find that it sort of smooths everything out, especially if you've done a lot of detailing work, and it also makes them super shiny. And there you have it, there's your Art Pop inspired manicure. That's what it looks like from other people's point of view as well. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please like and subscribe for future tutorials, and also comment below if there's any artwork that you've seen on my Instagram that you would like me to make a video tutorial of. So thanks for watching guys, bye!